Welcome. Today we're going to take a quick look at the copy as HTML plugin for Obsidian. I use this uh, every other week at least um, to copy the HTML out of a, an Obsidian document into some notes in WordPress for one of the clients that I have where I do the release notes every two weeks after a release, obviously. A lot of it's in Markdown because we put them in GitHub, but then I need one chunk in WordPress. So let's take a look at that. So again, like any plugin in Obsidian, we're going to go to our settings. We're going to go to, uh, say, community plugins, go to browse. If you don't have uh, safe mode turned off, then turn it off. And it's going to give you a scary warning. Just say, OK, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, or I don't feel that it matters. There's some security issues. Technically, the plugins can access your data. Decide if that's a big thing for you. I'll hit browse. I'm going to search HTML. I have copies of HTML by Bailey Jennings. I'm going to install. I don't really need this usually on my own personal vault, but I can't really show you the client vault. I'm going to enable, and then I can go into the hotkeys, and I could change them if I wanted. So I could change copies HTML to a specific command if I wanted. I don't generally need that because I don't use it a lot. How do we use it? Let's go to the outline. I'll just highlight, and then I'll hit Command P uh, to open the command palette in Mac OS. I'm going to say copy uh, as HTML. And now it's copied as HTML, so let's open uh, just a quick text edit window or a boop window for me so we can see the HTML. And that's it. It says div content, h1 outline. I don't love how it's not as clean uh, as it could be. Um, we could certainly run a parser or some other work here to make sure that we take out this div content. I don't need that, really. It's just extra clutter. There we go. And that is a better cleaned HTML version of the... Uh, content. This item I'm using here is boop. Uh, it does a bunch of other developer stuff like I could say format uh, JSON if I want to do sort JSON. If you are curious about that. So I use this plugin like I said every every other week on Thursdays on a release day to make sure that I have the release notes set up properly for my client. If you like the video thumbs up below, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff that YouTube wants to tell me to tell you so that my channel continues to grow. I'd appreciate it. If you really want to support the channel, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Membership, get all my courses included, plus a weekly newsletter. Take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education to take a course. Or you can go to Skillshare if you have that, and all my courses are already on Skillshare for you to take. Have an excellent day.